What up everyone, you're watching How to Break Dance for Beginners and today I'm going to be teaching you guys another breaking routine based off of just only footwork. So if you don't know what footwork is in terms of break dancing or b-boying or breaking or whatever name you know or and are accustomed to, footwork is one of the three foundation in terms of how I was taught the three foundation elements of breaking or b-boying. Which there's the first element is top rocks, the second element is footwork, and the third element is freezes, and the fourth element is power moves. Which, but in terms of my own preference, in terms of how I like to express myself through the dance, it's not exactly something I use quite that often. And it's one of the elements that you don't have to use. It does add a lot of flair and a lot of more excitement to your dance in general. Okay, so everything I'm going to be teaching you guys uh, in terms of the, uh, that routine, the routine today is going to be based off these set moves, okay? Which is the four step, two step, kick spins, uh, CC hooks, and the ninja. Okay, if I remember, my memory serves me correctly of how I structured this. Okay, so and the way I'm going to be teaching this routine is I'm going to assume that you know these moves. If you don't know any of these moves, I strongly suggest that you go back to what, in whatever video it is that is in front of you. Learn the routines, uh, not the routines, learn the moves, practice it, uh, get used to how your body moves along with it, and because that, that way the, this whole routine itself is a lot easier. If you're going to try to um, sort of muscle your way through this routine, you're going to have a hard time, okay? I, I strongly suggest you learn the patterns first before you go start trying to put everything together, okay? So other than that, let's get right into the routine. All right, so before you do any of these dances, make sure you're nice and warmed up. I also have a warm-up video for you guys to do to help strengthen your legs to be in this position because you're going to be in this particular position a lot for a long time. So make sure you check that video out to strengthen the legs. Anyways, I'm going to be facing this this direction uh, so you can see a lot more of the angles of what I'm trying to do. First thing we're going to do, and I'll occasionally switch angles. Hopefully that helps. Uh, but I'm trying to stay in frame because if I go a little too far, you will, like, my arm might get cut off and the microphone stands like literally right here. Okay, so I'm gonna back up to go over here. So anyways, we're gonna go start off with the four step. Okay, again, I'm assuming you know the moves. Okay, and so I'm not gonna break it down. Okay, so four steps, so six, seven, eight, you're gonna go hook one, two, three, four. Okay, you just finished one, four, one, the four step. So from here, you sort of, instead of going to a four step again, okay, you're gonna go around Use, use it as a coffee grind, but going into your two step, okay? Here, one, two, and then you do another one. One, two, okay? So let's do that. One four step, two two steps, okay? So six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and one, two, and one, two. Cool? So from here, due to my space constraint. I'm going to do one kick spin. You can do multiple, but I'm going to do one. So one, two. Okay, from here I'm going to do my kick hook, my CC hooks. Okay, I'm going to move a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go hook, hook, down, back in, and then you switch, hook, hook, down. That was a little awkward. And down, last one, hook, hook, in, from here, you sort of, I want you to uh, do a CC sling, so you come into this position, and then we're gonna finish it off with a ninja. Okay, you're gonna kick it around, and sit. Ninja, and drop. Hopefully I'm in front, man. Cool? So, and that's how you should finish. Boom. You're focusing, focusing this way, okay? Okay, so let's do that again. I know I just went through everything like really fast. So let's go uh, through the whole pattern one more time. We'll go nice and slow, and then, uh, yeah, we'll do it a couple times slow, and then we'll go faster. So six, seven, eight, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and one, two, one, two, kick spin, boom, hook, hook, up, and down, hook, hook, up, and down, hook, hook, up, sling, ninja, and boom. It's really challenging not to travel so much. Okay. <laughs> cool. So, hi. You feeling okay? Hope you guys are. All right, so we're going to go a little faster now, and then we'll go with music two times slow, two times tempo, and then we'll wrap it up from there. Okay, so uh, make sure your, tools, your shoes are tight. 
the previous shot before this, my shoe flew off. So, okay, so five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, kick spin, okay, hook, hook, boom, hook, hook, down, hook, hook, down, sling, ninja, drop. Cool, hope that's making sense, you see? Uh, you're starting to see the patterns of how I'm just taking little bits and pieces and just piecing it together. I can go for instead of two CC slings, I can go or three, I can go on five and make it longer, or I can go for more, I can go for two four steps, or even four two steps, or get out of my ninja and do, and do another CC. So it's a matter of how much you're willing to explore these moves because, in all essence, these are just guidelines. The rest is up to you. Cool? So we're gonna go one more time, uh, a little faster. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to count and dance at the same time. Anyways, let's go for it. So uh, I'm gonna try this direction. Hopefully I'm not out of frame. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Kick spin, CC hooks, boom. CC hooks, boom. CC hooks, boom, sling, out. Cool. So, hopefully that's making sense. I'm gonna do, do it with the music. We're gonna do it twice, nice and slow. Then we'll pick up the speed, wrap it up from there. Let's have fun. All right, we got some music. We're gonna go nice and slow twice. Okay, allow yourself to feel how it how it feels like to do the moves in rhythm. Okay, then we'll pick up the tempo. Okay, so let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two, one, and two, and one, and two, sling around and down. Okay? Hopefully that wasn't too fast. I'll go a little slower on the next one so we can uh, uh, let ourselves sit with the music. Okay, that one felt a little fast for the first time. So let's try it again. Okay, so five. Let me catch the rhythm in a slower beat. All right, five, six, seven, a lot slower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, kick. All right, up, down. Hook, hook, up, and down. I'm calling the wrong stuff. One, two, up, sling, ninja, sit, drop. Cool. So I hope that was a, a slower pace for you guys too. All right, so let's go tempo now. If you find the tempo version a little bit more challenging, go back to the slow version, work with that until you're used to it, then come back to going faster. Okay, so let's go for it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, one, two, boom, hook, hook, down and drop, hook, hook, down and drop, hook, hook, boom, swing, round and drop. Woo! Okay, so let's do it one more time. Okay, tempo. I'm gonna be facing this direction. Okay, do your best. Again, if it's challenging, go back to slow tempo, then come back here. Let's go for it. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hook, hook, down and drop. Hook, hook, down and drop. Hook, hook, boom, out. Ninja, sit. Woo! Anyways, that's it. Another footwork routine that you can practice on your own. I showed another one not too long ago. It's different footwork patterns but the same concept where I'm showing you guys different pieces, different patterns and piecing it together. Okay, and keep in mind this is all just a guideline. I don't want you to go do exactly what I'm doing, but I want you to start being able to see what's possible for you in terms of what you're creating. Okay, in terms of the context of breaking. So if you're facing any challenges, you got any questions, suggestions, leave me a comment right down below. I love hearing from you guys. And I feel like it's a responsibility of mine to make sure that you're the best dancer that you can be. So anyways, that's it. Thank you for taking class today. Hope you guys had fun. I'll catch you guys in the next video.